और इसको लेकर अहम बिंदु भी आपके सामने लेकर आएंगे लेकिन इस वक्त आपको सीधे प्रसारण के लिए चल रहे हैं विदेश मंत्रालय की प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के लिए deliberations were and how we look at this event also joining us on the diet shri p kumaran osd uh, er and dp in the ministry of external affairs as well as shri raguram joint secretary policy planning and research in the ministry so without further ado i will hand over the floor to you sir for your remarks thank you very much uh, arindam uh, kumaran uh, ragu jsp pnr and friends from the media thank you very much and uh, uh, coming for coming at this late hour really uh, in the evening that to on friday for this briefing on uh, the just concluded uh, second voice of global south summit in fact i'm just coming uh, back from the concluding session to uh, to share with you uh, as to what happened at this day long uh, summit today uh, you would recall the first summit the first voice of global south summit was held earlier this year in in january 2023 and building on the momentum of the achievements of the first global south summit uh, uh with the strong leadership of honorable prime minister uh it was decided to hold this second summit voice of global south summit today uh the meeting the summit like class the first summit uh, had uh, leader sessions the inaugural and the concluding sessions and also the eight ministerial sessions which included two sessions of the foreign ministers one devoted to the larger developments around the world and how they impact global south and second more on developmental agenda of the global south there were also one ministerial sessions each of education finance environment energy health and commerce i would later be happy to share with you priority of each of these ministerial sessions so that you get a sense of what was the nature of deliberations in the room for each of the ministerial sessions Uh, should you wish should you be interested in greater details on the specifics of individual minister session i would be very uh, happy to share them also with you the uh, in terms of uh, 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 the theme the overarching theme of the second summit today was together for everyone's growth with everyone's trust uh, which echoes essentially india's philosophy of vasudeva kutumbakam and is an extension of honorable prime minister's vision of sabka saath sabka vikas sabka vishwas also using it as the guiding principle for the progress of our cooperation within the framework of global south uh some specifics to share and you would have uh, witnessed that through the live telecast of the inaugural session in the morning uh, the prime minister also inaugurated the global south center of excellence which will be called dakshin that stands for development and knowledge sharing initiative you would recall this was one of the decisions that the honorable prime minister had announced at the concluding session of the first summit Uh, we have been working on its implementation for last several months uh, and prime minister inaugurated that session earlier today uh, the global south center of excellence will work as a think tank will also work as a repository of knowledge and development initiatives uh, in order to interface with the global south and seek out ways for forging stronger collaboration with its counterparts in the global south countries uh, essentially ensuring that how our capacities uh, and other capacities of global south can be exchanged uh, uh, among the countries of the global south besides that prime minister also uh, spoke about implementation of 
four other key decisions which he had announced at the first uh, summit. One was cooperation with the Global South through the Arogya Maitri initiative under which we have already commenced several initiatives of cooperation in the health field with the countries of the Global South. Uh, similarly, under the platform of Global South Science and Technology Initiative, which was again announced at the last summit, cooperation has advanced between India and other countries of the Global South. The uh, Global South Scholarship Program uh, has actually uh, grown extensively since the announcement of this decision uh, in the first summit. Of course, it captures some of the existing programs of Government of India, but it has also expanded in a targeted way, looking at how uh, to use this particular capacity uh, for development cooperation with the countries of the Global South. And Global South Young Diplomats Forum, uh, this is again something which has uh, already uh, taken off in a very strong way and we hope to grow and progress it on it further. If uh, I was to share with you briefly uh, three things. Uh, one, uh, to share with you broadly the sense of priorities of each ministerial session. Two, uh, based on those uh, thematic uh, uh, drive of individual sessions, what was seen as the shared priorities of the Global South uh, based on the discussions and deliberations today. And then broad sentiment in the room across the ministerial sessions and particularly during the leader session, both the inaugural round and also the concluding session. In terms of uh, uh, thematic uh, focus of each of the ministerial sessions, I would say. For education minister's session, the focus was on making human resources future ready. For the finance minister's session, the focus was on financing people-centric development finance. For the environment ministers, the focus was on sustainable solutions for climate resilience and climate finance. Uh, foreign ministers, as I mentioned, had there were two sessions uh, of the foreign ministers uh, and focus combining and converging the two sessions here was on global south and one development uh, thematically. Uh, energy ministers, they focused on affordable and inclusive energy transition for the Global South. The health ministers, they uh, aimed at uh, in forging stronger cooperations in looking for solutions from the Global South for One Health. And commerce ministers, uh, Global South and resilient supply chains was the focus area for the commerce ministers session earlier today. And leaders session as I already spoke to you about. Uh, based on these uh, thematic uh, uh, sessions, uh, the shared priorities, if I was to just very briefly list out uh, for, uh, for your information, would be priority number one, and you would have heard this in some detail in the concluding session uh, when Prime Minister spoke about them. One, about one future. Uh, the essential focus being that uh, Global South will shape its future based on cooperation, of course, with the rest of the world, but also more strongly uh, among the Global South countries, based on what I mentioned, uh, the Prime Minister's uh, uh, philosophy of Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, uh, Sabka Vishwas. Uh, also, another point of uh, emphasis here was reduction in the East-West dichotomy in terms of uh, especially the development agenda. Second, a shared priority which the Prime Minister highlighted was commitment to a sustainable development and particularly with regard to climate action, base it upon a common but differentiated responsibility principle. Three, in so far as energy transition is concerned, inclusive, affordable and sustainable energy transition was something which was voiced 
uh, and shared by almost all the uh, member states in today's session. For uh, people-centric development finance, of course it was a theme of the finance ministers, but something which came across very strongly across almost all the sessions uh, uh, and uh, one of the underlying uh, thrust uh, uh, areas of emphasis there was uh, a point from Global South to avoid situations where development initiatives and programs lead to debt trap uh, for Global South. Uh, five, uh, uh, digital public infrastructure aimed at delivery of public goods of governance, uh, more effective govern delivery of governance, more efficient delivery of governance. Six, uh, this is something which was echoed very strongly, pretty much uniformly, a uh, need for reforming the multilateralism, reforming the uh, multilateral institutions, particularly the global financial institutions and the Security Council. Seven, women-led development, a very, very strong area of uh, priority and focus. Eight, uh, something which uh, came across uh, not so sharply in the first summit, but came out very sharply this time, which is the need to prioritize investment flows among the Global South countries, uh, linking and leading to uh, increasing development space in those countries. Nine, uh, strengthening cooperation on countering terrorism, spread of terrorism, growth of terrorism, and its various manifestations. And tenth, the uh, uh, emphasis on uh, timely and expeditious completion of the SDG 2030 agenda. These were a kind of, I would say, collective sense of shared priorities that came out of the discussions. You know, in terms of broad sentiments, uh, which were uh, layered on some of these priorities, which was spoken about uh, in the deliberations across the leader session and the ministerial segment was, one universal sentiment, a sense of recognition, a sense of uh, realization, that India and Prime Minister Modi, they mean what they say. Uh, this came out uh, in two very specific and express ways. One was everybody spoke about uh, India's and Prime Minister Modi's leadership in, in, in getting African Union to be a permanent member of the G20. Uh, but also equally importantly, uh, in ensuring that the priorities and the interest of the Global South, the way they were voiced at the first summit, uh, were not only just tabled for discussions at the G20 meetings and the summit, but they were also factored in the New Delhi Declaration. Uh, New Delhi Declaration actually, as a matter of fact, if you see, good more than 50% of it focuses on items of priority to the Global South. So there was a widespread recognition of this that India and Prime Minister Modi's leadership has ensured uh, this and this is essentially, you know, uh, uh, walking the talk as Excellent Affairs Minister uh, spoke earlier uh, today. Uh, for us, Prime Minister was very clear in articulating that India's G20 was anchored in the priorities of the Global South and that our su success of our G20, we see it as a success of Global South. And this is something which, uh, in a way, uh, you know, uh, we found in a way uh, today's summit, uh, Global South kind of owned up in a way to the success of uh, the G20 as, as one of their own, essentially through this. Uh, there was one sentiment which was expressed that uh, within so far as the African Union permanent membership to the G20 is concerned, there was a sentiment which came across that uh, yes, global groupings can be persuaded uh, to respond to the changing global realities and respond in a more inclusive fashion. I think that's what African Union membership represented and that was echoed in the room uh, while expressing uh, gratitude to Prime Minister Modi's leadership here. Uh, there was a thought which also was very uh, widely uh, uh, shared across different sessions, which was that the challenges that confront the Global South uh, across the development space, across the political space, uh, it is important that 
global south should look for global south answers to the challenges that confront them but do it through cooperation consultation and coordination not through confrontation so this was a vital sense of the room that global south answers for the challenges that face them uh, there was also a recognition uh, and spoken about and this has been spoken about at the last uh, uh, summit of the global south also the first one wherein that uh, uh, given the nature of growing uncertainty conflict geopolitical tensions across the world there is a need for global south to speak more forcefully on these challenges and converge uh, uh, more extensively in searching as the world looks for uh, solutions uh, to these these issues and this is because these uncertainties these tensions essentially impact the development space and specifics of the global south and hence there is a need it's not just a, a rhetorical need for them to speak it is because those developments do impact uh, on on their economic growth and development and lastly uh, as i have also mentioned as one of the shared priorities a very strong sentiment in the room that there is a need to urgently reform the multilateral institutions in particular the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, global financial institutions the un security council and the overall global financial architecture uh, we will be uh, circulating uh, at some stage hopefully tomorrow uh, a structured capturing of these discussions uh, in a certain form which would be available for you to look for more details but that will be sometime tomorrow morning because we just concluded so we need to just work through that uh, i think i would stop here and if there are questions we'll be happy to take that thank you very much um, please introduce yourself and the organization that you represent तो अब ग्लोबल साउथ शिखर सम्मेलन जो आज संपन्न हुआ उसके संबंध में विदेश मंत्रालय की प्रेस वार्ता देख रहे थे जहां विदेश सचिव ने बहुत संक्षेप में